race fans and welcome to Bomber Sports Plays Colin McRae Rally 2.0. Now this is a very special game because obviously last year I played a lot of uh, Dirt Rally, uh, which was basically the Dirt series going back to its roots. And this is where its roots are. This is its roots, ladies and gentlemen. What we're basically doing today is looking at the very roots of the Colin McRae Dirt series. Let's jump straight into a championship, shall we? For now, a new game, Intermediate Blah, all the stuff, create a new driver profile. How young can you be? Bearing in mind this game came out in the late 90s, I think 1999. I can be from the future. Uh, here's your selection of cars. A lot of the stars of the 1990s World Rally Championship scene are here. McRae's focus, obviously. Lancer Evo, Toyota Corolla, Impreza, Peugeot 206. This is a car that doesn't get enough love, so I'm going to have that. You may be sitting there going, hang on a minute. Wasn't there a Colin McRae Rally game that came out a few weeks ago? Or a few, or sometime last year? Yeah, about that. That's not this game. That game is a lame representation, and you should ignore it completely. Right, here we go. Let's dive straight in, shall we? Here we go. Enjoy the PlayStation 1 era graphics that actually look very good compared to today's standards. Actually surprisingly good. I was on two wheels for a second there. And once again, we're going to have that problem that I had in the Dirt Rally game, in the Dirt Rally plays where I can't hear the co-driver. Uh, the flickering backgrounds, by the way, I don't... Oh, that's a tree! Ow. Colin McRae's actually in this? <laughs> look at that. In second place, I'm being chased by Colin McRae himself. Oh dear. Well, I'm not going to have a chance, am I? He's like the fi He should be like the final boss in this game. Yeah, the flickering backgrounds. Um, I don't know how to fix those. So we're going to have to deal with those. I hope you can ignore them as much as possible. It's probably the result of playing a game that was designed in the Winnowed ME era on a Windows 7 PC with up-to-date NVIDIA graphics cards and things like that. It actually asked me to install Macromedia Shockwave Player when I installed it. I mean, I haven't dealt with that thing in ages. Yeah, actually, the graphically, it does look quite good. I mean, obviously, it was in the PlayStation 1 era, and it's noticeable that the PlayStation version does look a lot worse than this. I'm, of course, playing this on my, on my PC. But for the time, this actually looks very, very good graphically. Uh, it certainly stands up with the likes of Gran Turismo and the Toka games. And, in fact, this being... Oh, that's another tree! <laughs> Oops. Actually, let's go into cockpit view. There is a cockpit cam in this, which is really cool. And that was one of the sacrilegious elements of that crappy Colin McRae Rally reboot game that they did, which was supposed to be like, oh, it's a HD remake of the original Colin McRae Rally. No, it wasn't. It was some crappy mobile game. Watch Nerdcube's video raging on that game, and you'll see why. One of the things they did so horribly wrong in that game is they messed up cockpit cam. Look at this. This is awesome for its time. Oh, it's <laughs> wiped out the sign, because, of course, this was made back when the uh, the much-missed Colin McRae was still with us, but also still an active rally driver in the World Rally Championship. This was when he and the likes of Richard Burns and Tommy Mackinnon uh, and uh, Carlos Sainz and people like that, as in Carlos Sainz Sr., you know, not just Carlos Sainz Jr.'s dad, but, you know, a great rally driver in his own right. <laughs> killed another side. I think I killed the spectator there as well. I'm awfully sorry about that. The funny thing is, the handling for this is definitely... Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's an irony to that, look. Congratulations, you have set the fastest time for this stage as you crash into a tree. When people talked about Colin McRae Rally, or Dirt Rally, I should say, coming out, and they were saying about taking it back to its roots as a pure rally game, this is its roots, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not, let's not kid ourselves here. These are the roots. This was before Rallycross got involved. This was before any Jim Carner elements got involved. This is a pure rally game, and it is brilliant at that. Oh, my word. It has that brilliant feeling of... Terrifying you like a like the most terrifying roller coaster you've ever been on. That's basically what rally games should be. Because that's what real rallying is about, folks. It has a brilliant feeling of speed. As I say, the, the handling is definitely simcade. Uh, as I think, to be honest, Codemasters games usually are better at simcade, although I have to say, for Dirt Rally, they've done realistic physics really, really well. I'm still leading the stage. How is this possible? Um, but this is definitely simcade. The steering is very, very light, but it, it kind of feels nice. It feels you can feel the terrain changes, like, for example, oh, tree! Okay, I'll just glitch through that one, I'll take it. Conor McRae's just sat in second, like, what? Are you going to let him get away with that? He just glitched through a tree. And I'll be like, suck it, I am from the future, bitch. I am the T-1000 of rallying right now. <laughs> Sent back in time to end Conor McRae's reign as World Rally Champion. <laughs> Probably the best game in the original Conor McRae series was uh, maybe 4, or Conor McRae 2005 on the PlayStation 2. Those are games that are amazing, and I will play those at some point as well on here. 
because I think that oh goodness a lot of grass using track limits a little bit there because the only runoff area in rallying is either mud a ditch or trees there's trees up here oh I'm gonna have to go through the oops I tried to do like those old stuntman games where it'd be like through the trees but I didn't do it oh that was the fit oh I still won okay I'll take it obviously I bent physics enough <laughs> my poor car <laughs> look at that Deary me. The poor Peugeot is getting abused. And I remember this shape of Peugeot from... Well, the guy I remember driving the Peugeots back in the day was Marcus Gronholm, who was also a rally legend. I mean, basically, the 1990s, it helps. Same thing with Tokka Touring Cars back in the day. It helps that both the British Touring Car Championship in Tokka's case and the World Rally Championship in Colin McRae Rally's case, both of them had stacked decks. The World Rally Championship was in really rude health in the 1990s. You had likes of the Subaru Impreza, the Mitsubishi Evo, the Peugeot 206, Hyundai, I believe, were in it, uh, Seat were in it, uh, per uh, Peugeot, I said, of course. Um, I'm trying to think of others. There were so many talented drivers in that series as well. It was like a real kind of golden era. You had Colin McRae, obviously. You had Richard Burns, uh, also sadly missed. Um, uh, you had Juha Kankinen, Tommy Mackinnon, Carlos Sainz. And the World Rally Championship was just amazing. It was in real in a real peak of popularity. And same in the British Touring Car Championship with Tokka 2. You know, the Touring Car Championship was probably the best it will ever be during that period with so many manufacturer teams and amazing drivers. So it helped that Codemasters had the licenses for both of those series and literally were... Well, oh, that was a short stage. That was really short. Look at that. Um, <clears throat> so it helped Codemasters in that sense that they had the licenses to two of probably the best racing series on the planet at the time. Um... So they were able to make really great games with them. At the time, I don't think they had the F1 license. That didn't come until a lot later. I don't know who did at this time. But even so, Codemasters were just straight up killing it in the 90s and 2000s with their games. It was just incredible. But that's kind of what they've gone back to with Dirt Rally. They thought, you know what? Over the years, especially when Colin McRae passed away, the Dirt series was kind of, or the Colin McRae series, and it morphed into the Dirt series, kind of like Tokka Race Driver morphed into the Grid series. Um... It was kind of struggling for an identity. It didn't want to just be a pure rally game anymore. It wanted to have Jim Carner elements. It wanted to have challenge elements. It wanted to be accessible to a wider audience. It wanted to do all these different elements. And don't get me wrong, they were really fun. Like Dirt 3, a really fun game. But when you get something like Dirt Showdown, which is just, it's like the F1 race stars of the Dirt series, and you just sit there going, really? Did, was there demand for a game like this? And it's almost like they sat back and went, wait, hang on a minute. Yeah, actually, lads, I think we've got a bit carried away as well. So they really went back to basics with Dirt Rally. Well, not back to basics at all. The game is polished as fuck. It's an amazing game, as you've seen already. And what you've seen already has been in early access. Um, and they've really gone back to this idea of it's an owl. It's an owl, yes. Playing this, you get a sense of what they were trying to aim for. And you kind of get the sense that they have succeeded in that fact. Anyway, oh, oh, more trees. Oh, and I was back in the lead as well for a moment there. Oh! I've completely lost all my rhythm. Oh, there's the finish. Okay, we're not going to win the stage. Oh, no, we did. Okay. That's the second stage that we've won despite crashing into everything. McRae, you got to step up, man. Come on. And the music is so, like, 90s as well. It's brilliant. Uh, everything's damaged. What are the worst affected things? The brakes are very damaged. Suspension's a bit battered. Gearbox could do with a bit of a fix. And the body can get screwed. Who cares? I'll show you a few more camera angles on this stage as well. <laughs> well, there you go. That's how battered the bodywork is. The wing's nearly falling off. And all of this, it has to be said, is light years better than the Colin McRae Rally reboot game they did a few years ago. The one, as I say, the one that they claimed was a HD remake. Fuck off, was it? It was a crappy mobile game that they put on PC and were like, ah, people will get fooled into thinking it's the original Colin McRae Rally. And they weren't. So, Code Masters, that's a black market against you. And that was probably another reason why they were, they had to do such a good job of Dirt Rally. They were like, yeah, you know what? We, we, we must repent for our sins. And they have done. Uh oh, we got to jump. Got to jump. Brace yourselves. Oh! Here we go. We're getting into the hilly section. Oh my. Oh, falling off. Oh, grass. Trees! I survived the trees rather nicely, actually. <coughs> it's kind of aged quite well. I mean, graphically, it's, again, any game of this era, you're going to have issues with the graphics. If you're really that bothered about HD graphics, then, you know, you're not going to get on with old games, but I'm not. And the graphics are very good for their time. Oh, they were very good. I remember they blew me away first time I saw them. 
Um, but then again, there was a time where Pong blew away your parents, so there you go, it's subjective really. But if you can get past that, the graphics are very functional. And if you can get past that, like if I was playing this right now, I'd say this is a really fun kind of arcadey rally game. Oh, goodness me. I'd say it's, it, yeah, you know, graphically quite weak, but my, just my sweet, merciful Jesus, is the gameplay fun. Look at them 90s people in the car. <laughs> the bonnet just flapping up defiantly. <laughs> the wing bobbling around. <laughs> That's about the standard look for every rally car I drive, isn't it? Yeah, this is a really fun game. I don't know if it's actually on Steam, but as you can... If you can find a, a box copy of this, like a disc copy of it, definitely... Oh, my... Oh, that was a huge jump. And then definitely get it. It is really good fun. Uh, it controls quite well on keyboard, actually, which is very refreshing. Um... It does actually work quite well on keyboard or, or gamepad. As I say, I'm using a wheel for it, but really, it kind of works well for all systems. Max speed! We're redlining! Oh, God. Oh, hello. Oh, oops, oops. I sort of escaped there. Oh, oops. Oh, ow. The entire sky is flickering. I feel like I'm about to race straight into Armageddon here. Look at that. It's like a massive thunderstorm is about to erupt at any point. Oh, flames out the exhaust. It's all good. This is such a fun game. I love it. And it's a tribute to Dirt Rally and the current makers that they have recaptured this spirit well with the with the new game. And I can tell you for a fact now, playing this old one and having played the new one a lot. Seriously, if you haven't got it already, when it comes out fully in April, especially on console, just get it. Seriously, I shouldn't have to tell you twice. And while you're there, pick up a really cheap copy because it will be very cheap. It's a 15-year-old game for fuck's sake. Pick up a cheap copy of this as well, because you will have some good fun with it. As I say, it might well be out on Steam. If it's not, you can probably find an old box copy, or there might be a, might be on uh, GOG. Oh, no, we're not going that way. Oh, that was close. Oh, bumper cam. This is terrifying. Oh, God. Holy murdery. Ow. Ow. Come on. There we go. And that's the end of the stage. And someone's beaten us, but it's not McCray, it's Dugas. Whoever, who, Dugas Err. I have to say as well, the UI is very nice as well. Especially the menus, so smooth. Oops. Apocalypse is coming, still. God will rain his wrath down upon the stage if I do not win. So no pressure or anything. But God is currently watching this stage, and he does not seem pleased by it. Oh, fences. That's very offensive. Oh, another sign. The signs are ominous. I'm just going to stop now. Top speed. Oh, God. Top speed. Oh, jump. Oh. Whoa. Ow. I didn't even feel that. This is a game. And even then, I flinched and crossed my legs. I've lost my rear wing completely. And my boot's now flopping around. It's like watching someone go to the dump with a load of stuff in the back of their car and they just not bother to actually tie the boot down so there's like an old sofa sticking out the back I am not leaving the stage anymore Colin McRae has stepped up he senses blood and bits of broken Peugeot he's probably somewhere behind me on the stage just seeing all the littered the broken bits of Peugeot and he's like you know what Nicky I think we can have this torso that's an incredibly terrible Scottish accent and I apologise but I don't apologise for that Colin get back in your box this is that sort of game, isn't it? Because no one could beat Colin McRae, rally, uh, Colin McRae in real life. Um, it's a bit like in um, with Tucker 2. They did a, a documentary for the British Touring Car Championship. But in the 90s segment, they talked about those games. And John Cleland actually said he had, he had like kids and fans coming up to him. And he was like, oh, you took me out in that race, man, on Tucker 2. As if he actually was in the game just fucking with them. Which I thought was really funny. Comment below. And let me know if you've ever hated a race driver based off what they've done to you in a video game. A serious question, because I know people who have done that. They're like, oh, fuck that guy. He took me out in a race once. What, you mean on that fictional game? Yeah. It's a bit like Arava and the Toro Rossos. Max Verstappen. It's kind of like that. So I'm, I'm curious to see if you've ever had issues like that. Or me and Casey Mears on NASCAR 15. That was horrendous. This is giving me a dominant victory, which I don't feel like I deserve, really. <laughs> Look at my car. One last stage in the night. Oh, 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 three, ow. I feel the mounting a late comeback. I've got a massive lead overall. I, oh, I hope I have. I hope I don't blow it on the final stage. Kind of like Carlos Sainz when, uh, I think it was the 1997 World Rally season. He, Tommy Mackinnon, his title rival, retired on the first day. 
and all science had to do was finish the, the rally and get more points and get some points and he would win the, the championship. He got to the 100 meters, to within 100 meters of the end of the very last stage of the very last rally and blew up. I have never felt more sorry for a race driver in my life than that. Just him sat there with his Toyota Corolla just burning. Just sat there with his head in his... Oh! I should probably stop waxing lyrical because I could have a similar fate before me. Except mine won't be mechanical based. It will be lack of talent based. How am I leading this stage? <laughs> well, I think we can say the difficulty level probably needs tweaking. But then again, expert wasn't unlocked. So I assume expert is more of a challenge. I hope it is anyway. If Codemasters can bring the same level of execution they brought to Dirt Rally to the next F1 game. Seriously, F1 YouTubers, you'll be fine. The next F1 game will be awesome if they take the same approach they did with Dirt Rally. How long is this stage? This is a long descent into madness. Kind of a summation of this game, a long descent into madness, but, you know, in a good way. Oh, we're jumping in the... Oh! We are jumping into the night sky. And again. Andre! Oh! Oh, I'll tell you what, survive that. What a way to finish. Oh, yeah! Right, while we're here, let's quickly do something else. It, here's the full game mode. Single rally, single stage, time trial, blah, 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 blah. Challenge. You may be wondering, what's that? We can only pick Japan or Greece. So, you may be wondering, what's this challenge mode? Oh, goodness. What is happening with the sound? The sound's glitched. Oh, there we go. Right, basically, what this is... I don't know how often they still do it in, um, in World Rally nowadays, but... It's basically a special stage where you go head to head. It's kind of like the race of champions. It's nice and intense, which I quite like. Uh, Pep and right coming up. Oh, goodness me. This is the Greek stage. The, J the Japan stage is very similar. Very tight and very... Over the bridge! Where previously I was just under the bridge. I don't ever want to feel like I did that do. Took it to the place under... Is that under the bridge? Uh, I, can't, I can't remember my Red Hot Chili Pepper songs, and I've lost. I think we'll end that there. Quite a fun little time with uh, Colin McRae Rally 2.0. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, mash the like button. Comment below with your uh, thoughts on the Colin McRae... <laughs> That's quite embarrassing. The Colin McRae games and your race drivers who you hate in real life because they're addicted to you in a video game. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like that. I've got a lot of gaming videos coming up and a lot of videos over on the main channel, Team Homer Sports. And... Um, yeah, I'll see you next time, race fans. Cheers.